Mostly people think of science as being quite a difficult subject to teach online because using a computer you can do things that you can't do in real life. So for example, people from India have a really, uh, really determination to learn things. Hi, welcome to Yellow Slate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kid based on various filters and parameters. Today, we have Mr. Cam Wong from Go School. He teaches physics and science at Go School. Let's speak to him and understand more about Go School and also the general concerns that parents are likely to have while joining their kid in an online and hybrid school. Thank you so much for joining us. Sir. You're welcome. My pleasure. Well, to begin with, can we get a little brief about you and what do you do at Go School and how did you make it happen to Go School? Okay, um, well, I'm originally uh, from Hong Kong, as you can see, I'm ethnically Chinese, but uh, my parents moved to England uh, many, many years ago. Uh, so I pretty much um, uh, went through the whole British educational system. So I started at, uh, you know, uh, infant school, primary school, and then secondary school, and then to college, and then to university. And then I became a teacher after that. And then I started my first job in uh, Tower Hamlets in London. I don't know if you heard about uh, Tower Hamlets, but it's um, it's got um, a wide range of people there. So I started my first job there. And then uh, I taught, well, there I taught um, physics. I taught chemistry, not chemistry. I taught a little bit of electronic yeah. and so on. So I've got a range of uh, experience from uh, a basic science to A-level science to advanced science. So I've got a bit of uh, experience, but um, a, a wide range of abilities, let's say. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Well, you've been teaching in a classroom atmosphere all this while and now at Go School, it's predominantly an online uh, curriculum. So uh, how do you handle this online teaching and what sort of challenges do you generally face uh, while teaching online versus a typical classroom atmosphere? Uh, okay, yeah, that's a good question. Yes, um, I think mostly people think of science as being quite a difficult subject to teach uh, online because... Um, in a real school, uh, you know, a teacher would have um, access to a, a wide range of resources, including physical apparatus, you know. So in a physics lab, you might have a power supply, cables, um, meter rules, and so on. So you can do experiments. But I think in some cases, uh, what we do at Go School, we use uh, a lot of uh, computer simulations. And I think in some respects, I think computer simulations are more useful to students um, because in real life, you don't really see everything goes on. So, for example, um, if I'm teaching um, computer, well, not computer, if I'm teaching um, electromagnetic induction, let's say, and I bring out a magnet and I show how the coils interact with a magnetic field, uh, lots of students won't be able to understand what goes on, but our, at, but at Go School uh, we use a simulation. So when I bring out a magnet, uh, I can show the actual magnetic field lines, uh, and and then I can show what happens when a coil interacts with the magnetic field lines. Uh, so you can see quite clearly uh, exactly what happens, but in real life you don't see that because. When you bring out a magnet, the magnet doesn't come with field lines because it's all invisible. So students will have a difficulty uh, trying to understand the interaction. But on a computer, it's much easier to see. And I think that the students can get a, a much clearer picture of what actually goes on. Um, so in that respect, I think that's quite interesting. Uh, the other thing um, is that using a computer, you can do things that you can't do in real life. So, for example, um, if I were to do an experiment on finding the acceleration due to gravity, gravity on Earth, well, in real life, I could do that, but you can't do anything else. But on a computer, I could go to another planet. I could go to planet Mars, and I could simulate the conditions there 
and do the same experiment and we can compare it to what it's like on planet Earth. So there are many um, advantages, I think, using a, a, a simulation rather than an actual real life scenario. So I think from that respect, I think the students would get a really good in-depth understanding uh, when, they, when they see it, um, you know, in, 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 uh, on, a, on a simulation. Got it. And uh, one of the advantages that students of Go School get is the exposure to international f- faculties. You are you're from Hong Kong and now in yes. London. So which nationality students do you have in your school? in your class generally and does it generally have an advantage for students when they get exposed to students fellow students from different nationalities um yeah well i taught uh, students from many different uh, places i mean i in my time i used to work in saudi arabia and um and i taught uh, arabic students there so i know some of the cultural differences between the students um so, for example, um, one thing that stands out is that uh, people in Saudi Arabia have a nocturnal nightlife. So that means uh, they don't do things during the day. They prefer to do their leisure activities at night, and we have to uh, cope with that um, issue. You know. Um, so at Go School, uh, at the moment, I have students uh, from India, uh, and, uh, and for what I can see. Um, uh, People from India have a really, uh, really determination to learn things, and and um, I haven't really encountered any cultural issues that might uh, stand out. But I think one of the things that um, that really impressed is the way that people want to succeed. Yeah. Um, uh, but um, but the other issue is that um, I think uh, in India. Uh, there are many, many relig- religious festivals, and uh, and that's really exciting to learn about. Uh, so, um, you know, so at Go School, uh, I'm really uh, enjoy my time meeting uh, Bond students. Got it. And there are very f- few schools that offer Cambridge education online with the HyFlex model. Uh, can you throw more light on Cambridge as a syllabus and what sort of edge does student get over while studying in a Cambridge curriculum school? Uh, I think it, well, the, the Cambridge board is uh, is a really uh, well-respected uh, international organisation. Uh, I think any student uh, who can produce uh, a certificate from Cambridge will stand out uh, because I think Cambridge gives you a really in-depth um, education i think the syllabus says uh, uh they, they is changes quite a lot but they change a lot to keep it interesting you know so try and motivate students to learn with real life applications uh and it's the and it's really suitable for you know if you want to go higher uh if for students who want to go to higher education i think with a i think with the cambridge brand and name I think you can go very far with it so I think that's uh, that would be very advantageous uh, in that respect got it and generally how is the assessment done in an online atmosphere and especially with physics as a subject uh, how how do you see this assessment helping students in getting the right feedback in terms of areas that they can improve upon yeah, um, well, the thing about ghost school is that uh, the, cl- the classes tend to be quite small, so uh, the students will get a lot of individual attention. Um, whereas if you compare it to a normal school where you have large class sizes, I think uh, some students will be very demanding and be very competitive and they will get more a greater share of the teacher's time. But I think at Go School, uh, everyone is equal, and we're all. It's, I think um, if you're not very competitive, I think you still get your fair share of, of the teacher's attention. So it's more democratic in that sense. But um, the way we assess the students is that uh, we, we give homework on a regular basis, uh, which means that um, in my case, I mean, I give out homework to, to my class at least twice a week. Uh, what happens is that uh, 
they they um, have to download the homework from the Go School website, and then they do it, and then they scan it, and then they upload it, and then uh, when it's uploaded, uh, I mark it, uh, and I then upload the feedback to them. So, uh, so they get a feedback from uh, in writing, and then join the lesson that I will then tell them what they need to do uh, to improve. So they get some uh, regular, well, they assess regularly, uh, and I sort of assess them sort of like continuously, but uh, but they don't realise that, but I am assessing them because uh, I can uh, talk to them, I can ask them questions. Uh, so I've got a, 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 a quite a clear picture of how they're learning and, um, and, and how far and how much they need to do in order to get better. So I think at school, school you, you, you get some, I think you're, you're going to be much more scrutinised than uh, otherwise uh, if you were in a normal school, let's say. Got it. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for all these thoughts and opinions, uh, Mr. Cam Wong. A lot of these opinions will be of great help for parents who are looking for good online schools uh, in India. So, on behalf of all those parents, thank you once again for your time. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh...